Annyeong, buddy. Today we're going to be doing the Marie Meets Parcels interview. I'll go first. If there is a position you would like to exchange with each other, what would it be? Everyone wants to play bass. Yeah, I was going to say bass. <laughs> I want bass as well. We so we got three to want to switch with Noah. No, no guitar? Nobody? <laughs> no interest. <laughs> the next one is, what was your most enjoyable memory from the Parcels Live in Seoul concert? I mean, there wasn't a particular point, but the fact that every time that we did something, there was this, Wah! I don't know. It, it's a very excited audience. I liked all the waving. There was a lot of just like us on stage doing this and then the crowd doing this to each other. It just felt like a really nice energy transfer. <laughs> oh yeah, Pat wrapped it on stage. Yeah. Next question. Oh, it's me? Yeah. What did y'all play together when you were young? <laughs> Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Have we ever played Lego together? Was, we met a bit older than that, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I was still playing with Lego and <laughs> maybe not with you guys, but when you were 13? Yeah, even <laughs> older. In high school, jamming in the music room, we were probably playing funk. Yeah, we had a funk band with two singers and they were doing choreographed dances. That was one of our bands. Do you have a favourite Korean phrase? I'm going to steal the saranghae. <laughs> and I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. You guys know how to say thank you. <laughs> Which Korean artist would you like to collaborate with? Oh, New Jeans. Or oh, Super Shy, Super Shy. It's like in my head, uh, non-stop, once a day. Keep singing. You yeah, wait a minute while I make you mine, make yeah, you mine. I couldn't even tell you the lyrics. It's just like, a, yeah, it's a hit. What was the most delicious Korean food you have had? I'm going to be boring and say bim and bap. I don't know specifically, but everything I eat here is so delicious. It's like all of the spices and the chili and the soups. I don't know. I love all the food here. Are you used to the spice? Yeah, love spice. Pat can food. handle the spice. Mm. I love all the banchans. Just the, the little side dishes you get with most meals here. It's like, uh, I think that's a really fun way to eat. Where do you draw inspiration for your music? Mm, deep within. <laughs> From other music, I guess. Yeah, it's a combination of other music and also deep within. The music that's deep within and the music that's out here. And also not music, just from living. Yeah, life. For the upcoming spring, the song by Parcels that I would like to recommend is... I reckon Stumble's having a bit of a resurgence. Yeah, Stumble. <laughs> I'm going to go with that too. I'm going to say, um, now I care some more. A bit of a hidden gem on the day night album. I don't know. Yeah, I can get down with now. I can't support Sounds good. Get down with that? If you could only wear one item on stage, what would it be? Oh, pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> At least underwear. <laughs> what do I love wearing on stage? Well, your shoes are very important for your playing. It's true, yeah. I don't like wearing sneakers on stage, but for the longest time it was the only thing I could kind of drum in. But now I've found some kind of like loafers that are quite tight, but they have a slippery sole, which kind of allows you to move your feet quickly. And uh, that's been nice. If Parcels were to produce Parcel, Parcel Live Volume 3, what fashion style would you be interested in exploring? Let's make up like a, a fake situation yeah like a yeah. fake genre of the album and then what's the fashion that's going to go with that i'm seeing like psychedelic chamber folk what's chamber folk <laughs> <laughs> i don't know just go with it <laughs> no this is a good direction i mean i feel like that's music that you play in churches so i'm feeling like you know you got this all planned out yeah. don't you i just had a, i just had a very potent it. flash of inspiration <laughs> but yeah i'm feeling like slightly religious themed clothing if there is a memorable episode from your visit to Korea, what would it be? All I can think of is almost dropping the jewellery out of the car last night that someone was giving me. I was like, no! And then I managed, he, he ran and gave it to me. That was an episode. <laughs> the secret to maintaining friendship from high school until now is... Communication. Communication and then like non-communication as well. No, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Ambiguity is really good as well. It's what you don't say. Yeah, it's what you don't say. Yeah, space, space is also necessary in maintaining a long-term friendship, I'd say. 
I see what you mean. Could you provide a teaser regarding your upcoming album? A little bit of information, perhaps. <laughs> what about just the chorus of, I never want to leave you, love. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> What genre of music are you interested in exploring? I that's if punk rock first came into my head. <laughs> this is to get a bit angry with it, it could be fun. I don't know the word for like boy band music, but... Pop music? K-pop? <laughs> Even further than pop. So, so this was Marie Meets Parcels. See you again at Interview. <laughs>